Justin was going on. Um, we were with Pops, helping the fence. Well, he's doing most of it, but we're just a helping hand. <laughs> but, you know, later on, this is another special. This is a simple cook eat special with nuts. And later on, we're gonna be eating good. You know, after this work, we gotta eat good. We do hard work. Okay, and now I'm just talking, but yo, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're back in again. Um, we're taking over today's vlog. We are making fish and rice. I don't really eat but I'm not sure what exactly this is. I'm just throwing stuff together. So this is like a beginner. This is just something I would do when I was at school. It's not really a specific um, recipe. I should be throwing whatever meat, whatever. This is my go-to seasoning, the Creole seasoning. So yeah, so basically we have that in here, a whole lot. And then I just barely put some teriyaki sauce. Yeah. And, and here we're making the rice. Yeah, she's making the rice. Just a friendly reminder, wash your rice. <laughs> wash your rice. Just point everywhere. Wash your rice. <laughs> and she is the head of the household. No, I'm just with the master bedroom. <laughs> yeah, but she is going to be just a pretty face coming in and out with the video. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, basically, we just want to get it really seasoned and marinated, as you can see. And here, we're still in the process of washing the rice after, I think, four or five rinses but just make sure your water is clear because you don't want it all foggy and stuff and then yeah make sure your water is clear and clean she learned her technique in africa like do you want to tell them like, oh yeah so um yeah before and i think naya knows too like we would just wash our rice just rinse it and stuff but like they're very strict on making it the right way and then make, make, or in Africa, they were very strict on making it the right way, making sure your food is clean just because it's very easy for stuff to get in it and everything. And so, yeah, just wash it as many times as you can to make sure it's clear and clean. And then also add vegetable oil to your rice. Um, you can do it before you put the rice inside the pot just add like a little bit of vegetable oil and then put in the rice, mix it a little bit and yeah. Or you can wait till the rice cooks and everything and then put it in like mid while it's, you know, cooking and everything. But yeah, that like makes it to become like richer, moist, thick rice. And that's what we like. And then I'm also throwing in some garlic salt. Like I said, um, this is every time is just an experiment to me because I'm just throwing in a lot of seasoning. And I just want I just want there to be some taste in it, you know. Yeah. Especially since this is tilapia. Tilapia, if you guys don't know, is a farm raised fish. So I guess it doesn't have the same and as much nutrients and all that as regular fish that they catch. But you know. It's cheaper. It comes in packs, like a lot of pack, like a pack of a lot for cheaper. Yeah, you know? fish be expensive. I didn't realize how expensive meat, fish, all of that is until I went to college and I had to start buying my own food. <laughs> yeah, like ever I'm since I moved to college, I'd be trying to, I'd be going through the whole aisle looking for which one is the cheapest. Oh yes. <laughs> And it re and that's when I really started cooking more because when you when you eat out every night that adds up and if you go I started going back to look at my statements and I'm like oh my goodness I spend too much eating out and literally when I was in Africa the only thing they let us do once a week or once every two weeks was go grocery shopping and they didn't have no McDonald's or Excuse me. you know chick-fil-a and stuff like that where we were so you gotta do what you gotta do and then you start to think like this is actually healthier 
and better for you in the long run. Yeah, it's really beneficial. You're yeah. really cheating yourself when you eat out mm -hmm. every day. Because we used to do that oh, all the time. Yeah. I think it also helps with like self-reliance and stuff. Like, yeah. Just keeps you accountable for budgeting <laughs> and stuff Excuse like me. that. Helping yourself with financial, you know, circumstances. Yeah. You would think, you know, our mom, she cooks all this, so that we would know how to cook. We don't know how to Yeah, we, <laughs> we relied on her too much because when we stepped out the house, eat out every day. Bro. McDonald's, every night. McDonald's all dollar menu. menu. It don't matter if we had 20 bucks or two cents, we'd scrounge up a dollar and 50 cents just for the golf cart. Yeah, and I don't know why they raised the prices on the dollar menu. Now it's not a dollar menu. They changed the whole name of the dollar menu to value menu. Period. Like, they need to take it back to a dollar. But yeah. So this is what it's been looking Ooh, like so far. Yeah. When, like, when I'm cooking, I just want to, like, the more seasonings I see, the more I want to add it. But... I need to understand that sometimes it's best not to mix certain things. But this is definitely my go-to. It'd be adding all the flavor that I need. And yeah, people be thinking I know how to cook. Like at school, my room, like some people on the across the hall and sometimes my friends, they would come over and we would eat, I would cook. And they're like, oh my gosh, you know how to cook. No, I don't. <laughs> it be this For right real? here. It be this right here. The super sauce. But yeah, this one's kind of good, not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep mixing. By the way, I did wash my hands. Yeah, I don't know if I should add chili powder. I just wanted, you know, some, some something else, you know? Let's see, maybe a little more of the cilantro leaves. Oh my god, that was not a little. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. Okay. You know, the kitchen is made for mistakes. Actually, it's not. <laughs> oh, kitchen the kitchen can go. Yeah, on. my kitchen is made for mistakes. But things can go very wrong very fast. Yeah, and my dad has a my dad has a rice cooker. We do not know how to use a rice cooker. We just know how to make it in a pot. <laughs> But we're trying to get with the technology and all that. Let's make sure it's really mixed. No more, no chunks of seasoning together. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here's uh, another special guest. He doesn't care about my channel. But here's how it's looking so far. Pretty good. I think. Maybe hold off on the chili powder. Y'all yeah, go ahead and tell me in the comments if next time I should add a chili powder. But this looks pretty good. So right now we're going to wash our hands and we'll be back in just a second. Oh, this is my dad. Unga fifita. Now... Just for the wheel stuff. Actually, that was probably the hard part. Now it's just oh, putting it on the pan. Intermission. <laughs> All right, so we're back over here at the oven, and you, I, we, uh, what'd you say? Should I have more water? I still can't make rice, so don't ask me. Did Dad say it's good? Yeah. So we have it on six right now. Six is my go-to number when cooking on the oven. I mean, on the stove, my bad. Just because I never know, but yeah. So we have the pan right here. It's a big pan. I like using big pans. I don't know why. Makes me feel like I'm doing something. Big cooker. Big cooker. Hmm. I remember my friend told me to put in some kind of oil. Canola? Vegetable? Yeah, something. Can you grab me up there too, please? Yeah, by the way, remember this, I'm not my mom. I, I can't cook. Canola. But we are trying, so. This is for my beginners. 
who don't know anything about cooking. If you know everything, I mean, if you know how to make fish, please just add some, add your advice, because I need all of it. But yeah, maybe add some advice, and next time I'll make it again and see, and we'll just have a better meal, because this is all just experiment again. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna wait for this. So we have this one in small. Wait, it might be stinky because of me, because it's wet, right? Is that what they do? I have no idea. Comment down below if you think this will stink after, because it's wood. <laughs> you do not know. I don't know where she got that. So now we're pouring it in. I already poured some canola oil. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but it sounds right. So pouring canola oil, and then now we have the fish in here, as you can see. And yeah, we're just gonna let it sit and simmer as we sit. Oh my goodness, uh, can you go somewhere? <laughs> but now we're just gonna let it sit. Please ignore the sick child in the background. But yeah, trying to make it all touch the, the bottom of the pan. I think this will really just be a video for entertainment instead of information because I'm not the one for information about this. But this is a learning lesson. You know, we can all learn from whatever mistakes I make from this. This is it sitting. I think in the, ch the cooking channels, they say to let it simmer. So, yeah, this is simmering. It's kind of good, if you ask me. We got the lemon juice. I actually think I should stir it instead of letting it sit there. Yeah, definitely stir. Okay, the pot is not cooperating. That's good. Nice, nice. I think the lemon gives it a little, you know, I don't know what the word is, but it adds flavor. Okay. So I already added some more of the Creole seasoning and the garlic uh, powder. Now I'm just adding some more of the teriyaki sauce. I don't know if it's a yes or no, but throughout cooking, I just like to add a bunch of stuff because I just love flavor. Sometimes it's not the right mix, but you know, we learn as we go. Mm. And yeah, I think we're gonna turn it down and then let it sit for a little bit. Uh, I see this done a lot on the channel, so I'm just gonna. All right, so it's been sitting for I don't know how long. I'm pretty sure not that long because I'm very impatient. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I had cute nails so I could, you know, it would make it look cooler. But we'll save that for another day. Um, it's been sitting though. I don't know, it looks pretty good, not gonna lie, but yeah, I'm probably now going to serve the plates. Wait, okay, this looks good, actually, I should probably stop that, but yeah. Alright, so we have, this is my dad's plate, and so we have that, and he likes the juice. And there's a little, it's gonna add a little flavor. He can mix it. But yeah. And then I'm gonna ask him how it is. Everyone's gonna get a plate and everyone's gonna rate it and we'll see how I did today. All right, my dad just walked in with the manioke. Gonna add that to his plate. Just as another side, you know? My dad be eating a lot, so you know. Gotta fill up the plate. Yep, this is the finished look for the plate for tonight. Um, I put some of the lolo'i, I think that's what this is called, inside of her thing and some fish. And it seems like she like it. She going in. I'm gonna take that as a 10 out of 10. Oh, 11 out of 10? Okay. <laughs> 
Go ahead, no. Nessie. All right, everybody, Dad's outside. Uh, he's finishing up some stuff, but he said we can go ahead. We're gonna start with the ratings, but first we're gonna say a prayer. Bless the food. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank thee for this beautiful day. We thank thee for all the many blessings that thou has blessed us with. We humbly ask thee to please bless the food and drinks that were prepared for us today, that it may give us strength and uh, please bless everyone that will all be safe and healthy and strong. And in the name of that son, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. All right. Thank Lothai you. will be first. Okay. Here we go. Lothai will be rating. Ah! <laughs> Take time. Let it saturate in your mouth. So you're rating out of 10? 12, <laughs> I hear? Okay, thank you. I'm just kidding. What do you say? Uh, four. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you try it with everything? With the manioke and everything? So dad made the manioke, Ivo made the rice, and I made the uh, fish. What's your rating out of 10? Was that a Two. 12? Thank you. I'm just kidding. That's oh. an 8. 2? Oh, really? An 8? Too much seasoning or what? I did put a lot of seasoning. Um, I feel like it needs a bit of sweetness. You know? Dad's Wait, got an early here? start on his. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah. Thinking hard. Be honest. Be honest. Very honest. This is like the best. Yes. I mean, I don't even know what it is. I, I <laughs> taste the fish, you know, and then, but everything you add it to it, it's like heaven in earth. Oh, heaven on <laughs> earth. And it's not just because he's my dad. He he's been very that? honest. I love it. I love it. I love this. I mean, like. Mmm, period. I love it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> you won't? Let's see what you got to say. <clears throat> All right. Gotta get a little bit of everything. Yeah, everything in one bite. Yes, really think about it. But don't think too hard. <laughs> yeah. What? What? <laughs> you want some? So taking my spotlight. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's a ten out of ten. Thank I'm surprised you. you said it needs to be more sweet. Yeah, the, I put a lot sweet. of seasoning in. Yeah. Let's see how Neji finished. Her. Oh, she only finished the fish that I gave her at the top. She didn't eat the rest of her food. <laughs> okay, my turn. Oh, It's okay. Oh, I didn't put any money up there. It's okay. I'll add it after. It's pretty sweet, huh? Like, it's very seasoned. I don't know what she's talking about. It is very sweet. And I think when you add everything together, the manioke, the rice, um, have some manioke, take that part. Oh, thank you. It does taste a little, Yeah. maybe too much seasoning, <laughs> but it's That's why you eat it with the manioke and stuff. Yeah, the manioke and stuff. A little bit of uh, salt, it's, it's mm. kind of a little bit. Salty? Yeah. Yeah, I taste it too. Okay, so but, maybe. But after I was, Oh, that's good. <laughs> but it's a good thing that manioka is very. It's a good thing that manioka is very, not so. It's like a base. Yeah, it's very bland, but it's good. But it's kind of bland, so it evens out, you know, the seasoning and stuff. So I think it was a good thing we didn't add the chili powder because I would have probably thrown it off. Maybe, <laughs> or maybe that would have been good. I don't know. But I definitely put maybe a little bit too much of the Creole sauce. 
Amen. I mean, Creole uh, seasoning, yeah. But, but it, it's all good. It's okay. I mean, better than being under seasoned. I mean, I love this. This is the kind of. I love it. But I know okay. it's bad for me because I have high blood pressure. Oh, I forgot my <laughs> dad has high blood pressure. Yeah. But it's good it tastes good for my for my taste is very perfect. <laughs> yeah. But I know you love know, it. <laughs> yeah, in the long run. If you have high blood pressure, this is not the recipe to do. Maybe you could do it, but no, no. less less seasoning. Yeah, the, the sauce. Yeah, I am. Oh, garlic powder? The seasoning, the, the sauce. It, yeah, it, I, I put a lot of that. A little bit more of the salt or... Uh, um, mm. What is that now? I put, you can put some more in her... Um, I look down food. and I just see her eyeballs. <laughs> and there's some, a little bit of fish left too. So put that in her bowl. Yeah, we, we feed our dog over here good. She's spoiled. She's part of the family. <laughs> well, pretty good. But I do notice I oh I do always go crazy with seasoning. Too crazy. I guess it's really good, but I think something that would be a good idea is fried rice <coughs> with the fish. Is that it? Fish fried rice? Yeah. Because this together tastes really good. water to wash it down. So what you have to drink? <laughs> she made her own cup. Uh, when you don't uh, want to wash your own cup. <laughs> when you don't want to do dishes. <laughs> so what are you drinking? Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. And then we got uh, I don't have a water. You want to show what you got? The elite apple juice, not elite. Water is elite. Oh, that's true. Dad, what do you have to drink? Oh, I threw water. Water. Second, 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 Pops, that's my twin for real. She'll like squeeze right in front of my leg to make me know she's there. <laughs> I see you. Dad, I'll look down in between my arms. I'll look down and I just see her two eyeballs. Her two eyeballs staring at me. She want to compliment the rice, but not the fish. I did, I said. I'm just kidding. Mm. 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 <laughs> I'm just kind of forced. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The little girl, and she's like eating the monk's spaghetti. She's like, mm, it's so good. <laughs> she's like, I'm okay. Is it one of those you just gotta watch? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that Sam's Club, you need a card to go in. When we are in college, we tried to go to Sam's Club, and they were, we got all our stuff, and we went to the line, and then I guess you needed a Sam's Club card. Yeah, we got loaded. But yeah, I did not know you needed one just, just to shop there. Uh, yeah, I do it in the morning. So me and Ewo did dinner, well me, Ewo, and Dad did dinner tonight, but I guess mine was like the main course, so 
that was me for tonight. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow will be evil. And the day after that will be Lapai. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We kind of just decided this today just because I feel like it helps split all the responsibilities. And it'll help each of us also like mm -hmm. learn how to do different things. Cause daddy always be cooking and it's about time we split. And we need to actually know what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so y'all saw me today, I was just experimenting, throwing whatever in. Yeah. But see, like she learned from it and now she knows what to do next time. Not so much seasoning. Yeah. So yeah, today was knots, then we're gonna switch one by one. Nods, me, Lothari, my dad, and then back to Nods. And tomorrow, I'll be helping Ewa with whatever, and then, or I'll do the dishes, because Lothari's doing the dishes tonight. So I'll do the dishes. They're best friends back there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then tomorrow, Lothari will help Ewa. I'll do the dishes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, today we were helping my dad do the fence in the yeah. backyard. Yeah, I it's almost say done. Props to everybody in the construction business because that is hard work. Not easy. We didn't even finish the whole thing today. We just, like, if you look at it, it looks like we just quickly put poles in each thingy, but that took a long time it took half of our whole day actually definitely i think we finished like at 5 p.m yeah but we, we didn't start to like oh what? that's true like 12 1 yeah yeah and then um, tomorrow we're gonna wake up early so we don't have to be you know yeah take the whole day mm -hmm. we're gonna put up the fences plus especially in texas the weather is just crazy the sun is just it's hot crazy. so we gotta start early, just so the sun comes out. But, uh, and so we put the poles in, we dug the holes, and then put the concrete in with the poles to hold it. And so tonight it's just, the concrete will be setting, and tomorrow that's when we'll start setting up the fences. Yeah. And we'll keep y'all updated. We'll put like a little picture or small. We'll probably small vlog a little bit of it so y'all can see. Yeah. Living life every day. Living see us in the process. Oh yeah, and if you guys have any like other recipes or stuff like that you want to see us try or experiment just drop it down below drop the name comment below. down and then like any tips like she said earlier on how to cook certain stuff or like the process of stuff please comment down below because we would love to know yeah anything i did here that you think you could help with or yeah. maybe i did something wrong <laughs> i need to chill with the seasoning for real i'd be during cooking, I just look at seasoning. As soon as I make eye contact That's with what it, I, do. I just grab it. Yeah. Put some more. Because I'd be scared to have dry food. You know, when I was in Africa, like, the way that they taste it. You know how out here, we taste it with, like, a spoon or something? But then they'll, like, drip it on their hand and then, like, lick it off. Like, to... Mm. I think it's, like, to feel the heat and then, like, how it actually tastes and stuff. Instead of slurping it. You know when you slurp it, it's just hot. I think that's why. I don't know, but just reminding me. Yeah. I'm definitely noticing. Like the more I eat it, it's like really need to chill on the seasoning. <laughs> I know that's why I like. Well, because usually I like to even out my food anyway, the taste. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like in the mornings when I eat breakfast with toast, eggs, and then meat, something like sausage or something, I like evening it. Right. The taste, too. like the portion. Do you yeah. do that too? Like every, I need to have everything yeah. of everything. 
Yeah. Every a bite of everything inside mm -hmm. my mouth all at once, so I can get the yeah. full potential of flavor. Exactly. <laughs> I don't like eating all the toast and then like I have a lot of eggs left. I don't like that. Yeah. Even with like my burgers and fries, I can't. I see people eat their burger first and then the fries. No. I need a shame. I be doing that too. Like it has to even out. And I hate that I'm like that because in public I'll just be looking hungry, but <laughs> I just need the flavor. Yeah. Y'all, I think I'm like, I think I'm kind of half deaf. I don't know. Because I was sick last week or a few days ago. I like came off of, or yeah. Anyways, I was sick and I was just sneezing nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. And you know when you sneeze so hard, nonstop, and oh, someone wants to be in the video. Say hi, Nadji. Say hi. This is my niece. She just be coming up here when there's food. <laughs> but she has her food over there and we already gave her a lot of our food, so. Yeah. I think we spoil her too much. She doesn't eat her own food anymore without a little bit of our food in it. Yeah. Like she has to physically see you take some of your food and put it in yeah. her dog. You have to do it in front of her or she won't <clears throat> believe that it's anything. Yeah. She'll just think it's her regular dog food. It's just funny because we'll pour her actual food in there, what she's supposed to eat. And she'll just be looking at us like, she's who do like, you think I am? And she'll just walk away. A dog? Away. That's while, she while we're pouring it, she'll just walk away. And then, like, I have to call her and bring her over so she can see me putting it in. Yeah. And sometimes, even whenever she can't really tell that it's in there or she didn't notice me put it in, I try to take a piece of it to, like, give it to her. And then I'll show her it's in the food. And then she'll eat it. She's so She's spoiled. spoiled. It's really her fault. <laughs> and his fault. But I named Neji. Oh, yeah. Neji is the anime character from Naruto. He's very wise. <laughs> but Neji is a cool character inside anime, inside Naruto. So that's why I really liked it. Yeah. And, uh, oh. <laughs> and... Neji inside a Naruto uh, show. Uh, he really cares about his family and he protects them. So that that's actually, why yeah, I, I feel like that actually fits with Neji because she's very I mean, also. yeah, she's a female pit bull. She's very territorial. Even like at night or any time of the day, if she hears somebody just walking by the house, she'll start barking and growling and go all the way to the front looking at them. Yeah. Like, she hears everything. That's like, it can be dangerous, but I kind of like her like that. Yeah. She's a good dog. Yeah, even whenever she be knocked out and I'll come out for a drink of water and she... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she's just me. She's just me. Bro, and she'll come lay with me. us. Yeah, yeah, she always sleeps at the edge of our beds. Even with my dad, mm -hmm. she's, she sleeps at the edge with him. Or she'll yeah. sleep like um, at the floor by him. Yeah, yeah. when she sleeps on the edge of my bed, I'm pretty sure she does the same thing. Like, she'll just look at the hallway. Like, she'll face towards the hallway just watching if anything happens at all. She's on top of it. My dad is really her favorite person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was actually really filling. I thought I would want more, but but then again, my appetite is kind of small. I need to start me. building same my appetite up. Because I really want to gain weight, but hard but yeah. i know that's different i know a lot of parties are like you want to gain weight that's crazy but i want to gain muscle because like i'm very skinny right now me too <laughs> my arm is kind of well my arm is very yeah skinny. i want to gain muscle just so you know i can protect myself as well and i just want to be intimidating. no you can't we know you I want to be intimidating to other people sometimes. You know when like you're by yourself and I feel like if I'm just a little more muscular then I won't be as approachable. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's like a, uh, well, you know how peacocks, they have their uh, oh, yeah. thing when they get scared <gasps> or like when they're trying to be defensive to scare off their enemies. Mm. That's what I want to be like. Or when like, I go to the gas station, especially the gas station. Be some yeah. predators over there. Or I'm like an walk. elephant. I have no muscles. Oh, the test. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot what that's called. Horns? 
No, like the mechanism. The fence mechanism or something? Yeah. I forgot. Oof. But, yes. Yeah, the food was amazing. Thank you for <sighs> bearing with me but during that circus show. <laughs> I know I am not as organized as my mom, but I hope you guys We're not professionals yeah. yet like her, but we're, we're getting there. there. We're trying to be like her. <laughs> and moral of this whole entire video is just try new things, experiment, and don't be afraid to just jump in there. You're yeah, gonna learn from it. Don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. You're gonna learn from it whether But maybe you know if you are planning that you might fail, don't use as much food because that would have really sucked if I made this on. It just was so nasty. Yeah. Well, I wanna thank y'all for tuning in. I know it was a short and short but sweet video. And just wanna thank y'all for always supporting my mom's channel and just tuning in whenever y'all can. All right. Hope y'all have a good night. Bye. God bless.